Yep. Let's get started. <laughs> let's see where we uh, let's see where we last uh, stopped on the coordination service, and then take it from there. Hopefully, how are you doing, sir? Long time. It's been a very long time. I haven't seen you. I haven't talked yeah. to you quite a bit. It's been at least an hour, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I can see how you would miss me. <laughs> long time. Long, long time. <laughs> All right. Okay, my friends. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it was your or Sam shoes. Um turn but let's just see where things at you know and then we'll we'll take it from there i know that he told me he pushed something by the way he was digging into something interesting the other day uh which i thought you might find quite interesting uh, he basically uh was talking about something to the effect of um being able to instead of using internal mock right he wanted to go and say, okay, you have your mocked up tokenization service. He wanted to go do something like this, tokenization, tokenization service dot, and then you would go and say internal setup. Oh, no, this is this is not the mock. This is not the actual mock. Hold on. If you go on to an orchestration service like this, where we're actually mocking things like this, watch this. So this is your mocked up. By the way, Mock has a lot of amazing things. Like there's some crazy stuff going on in Mock. But the one thing that I wanted to show you is he basically started digging into it. I said, why wouldn't I just set up things proper? And in his mind, he said, I can probably sit internal, something like that, right? Um, I don't know how far he went with it. I was just playing with this yesterday. Hold on. Is it set up? And then uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was internal like that. Let's let's look it up together. There is a there is a way where you can mock. Oh, sorry, protected, protected. Yeah, that's the one. It just hit me right now. Um, so he said you can go and say protected. There you go. Right, and out of this protected, there he is. What up, Sam? And then inside protected, you can pass in the method name, whatever method name you want. And then you can define the behavior and all that. So if you put um, try catch in there, can you just replace try catch in the thing that's. Oh, but that's in the mock, isn't it? So yeah. it's so not it going to be work. in the thing you're testing, right? It wouldn't work. Yeah. That's the problem. We're doing something truly groundbreaking because you're doing partial mock you're mocking a part of the class and leaving the other part as is so you can test a certain capability right yeah. the other thing that i learned the other day that i wanted to share with you guys is that let's say you have check this out let's say you have something called i something service let's say i, I service provider right and that's your provider you can do mock of I service provider like this. So that's that's the equivalent of your mocked object. But check this out. What if you want the actual mock? You can go and do this provider mock equal and you can see dot mock dot get get the mock from that provider and it knows how to get it back for you. That's insane. That's pretty cool. That's oh, very yes. pretty cool. I assume that to build a mocking framework like that, it must be doing, in, in terms of internal behavior, it must be doing a lot of like what a service provider does, right? Or, a must, or an, or no, an no, ISO wait, wait. collection, right? No, 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 just wait. This is your model. This is your contract. They figured out a way. I know what they did. You know what they did? They have this guy storing the instance. That's what I mean. Like when you yeah. say mock mock off something, that's what it is. Yeah, they're like it's probably more complicated than that. That, but yeah, they're like building an internal dictionary, much yep. like service collection, right? Yeah. So this then, when is... you go and consume yeah. that, it it just looks at that internal dictionary and it goes, "Yeah, I'll, I'll look that thing up." Yeah. It's all there. 
a, a yeah. mocking framework and a, and a service provider have much in common if you think about it uh-huh uh-huh <laughs> so let me tell you another thing that i'm that i want to use this for we need to extend the mock to go and say look what do you think about this paul if i can go and say this is a normal service and then I want to say partial mock, just basically internal mock, right? And then add the implementation and add what it returns and all that good stuff. I think that can be quite quite fascinating and interesting. But anyway, you know, not not to detract from the original purpose of this meeting. How are you doing, Sam? We made it. We finally are back on track. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing quite. Okay, let's let's pull the latest. I know mm -hmm. it wasn't. I know it wasn't my turn last time, but we'll see whose turn was it, and then we'll we'll get going. What do you think about that idea? So That's a good idea. <laughs> okay, let's go here. So <laughs> if I go to should throw validation exception if expression is null. That's Paul Wardy that wrote that. So Sam, why don't you make this one pass? Do you have Visual Studio by any chance? I did my bit. I broke it. You did your bit. <laughs> you broke it. Yes, you did. What do you think? So, Sam? Let me... oh. Should I take it? Actually, let's just see actually whose turn is it? Because the last part, that's the beauty about having these. Uh, so Hassan wrote a Sam wrote a Hassan wrote a failing test. Paul made it pass, and then Paul wrote a failing test, so Sam needs to make it pass. Let's go, okay. Sam. Let's go to town. Look at all this community contributions here. This is beautiful. Look at all these names. All right, we Sam. We work way too hard. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Opening Visual Studio. So once we're done with this coordination service, you know, we should be able to kind of mm -hmm. do a quick kind of litmus test and basically be able to send in a raw OData query and get back an expression. And we can apply that expression to whatever we want. This is going to be very exciting. I'm excited. This is this is a lot of sessions. Me too. That is coming finally to fruition. I'm looking forward to the recursion. It's going to be brutal. The recursion? Yeah. <laughs> OData is recursive, mate. Yeah. You can apply any of the clauses inside any of the other clauses, pretty much. It's going to get evil. Yep. Share screen. Come on, Sam. You're not in Dubai. We know. Come on. Oh, my <laughs> God. He still remember. All right. Here we go. <laughs> now we're doing it. So that's okay, uh, the run failing all the test. tests and see the one that fails and make it pass. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, I think this is a failing test case, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so bright. Well, we don't know. You have to run all the tests so we can find out. So that's uh, huh? Yeah, you have. We have to run all the tests in that coordination service. Yeah. Let's do it. So I'm on the right branch name, right? Mm-hmm. Coordinate or query process. No such in. Huh? Paul, just, can you point to me the. Just run the test, Sam. Oh, run yeah. all the tests. That's all. That's how we do it. Just run, no, all, I don't the want to run all the tests. Why? It's very short and quick. It takes a second. It could be quick, but it's not at my side. <laughs> So it's filling? Yeah. Now you need to make it pass. Oh, that's Paul Cook. Yeah, that Paul is Paul is tossing some throwing some fire at you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's all right. It's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it out. <laughs> um what we are doing mm. for this one. Mm -hmm. speak, 
Speaking so, of eternal mark, uh, I need to get buried uh, in that again. Expression, expect the query expression. Yes, yeah, so so if the string is null, we need to throw an exception. So is null. Good to hear. <laughs> Yes. So the string is not. Yeah. Okay. It's been a while. Sam is getting a little rusty. Let's go, Sam. <laughs> Sam, Sam. So just make the. Why? Why? Where is our try and catch method? Well, we haven't done it yet because, you know, we're still building the very first one. So you're going to have to build one. So I have to build a one? Yeah. I remember I did. So now we're only... Expand, all expand this problems. file. Expand this file. Expand it. Yeah, expand. No, no, no. The file that you're in, expand it in the, in the, solution, in the solution tree. No, Sam, like, like open it up. Do you see that little arrow? Expand the file. There you go. Yeah, you don't have, you don't have a. You don't have that. So because I remember I had that code. Yeah, but, but your solution was a prototype. Now we're doing the production. <laughs> okay. We need to create a new one. <laughs> so it's a. We need one that is dot validations and the other is dot exceptions. Yes. The validation a, right. and dot exceptions. So now we have a dot exception. Uh, the exceptions, right? Oh, perfect. And now so we... validation. Uh, we don't we try all the have validation one. Method. exception. We don't have all of this one. Yeah. So in the validation, what we can do is um, where's the try catch? So in the validation, we have try catch exception. Yeah, and in, in the valid in the exceptions, you have the try catch. Yes. Let's copy start with the validation. Run. Yeah, let's copy that. Sure. So in your near do the control and the C. Yeah. Um. So we don't know all of this one. So now we have the, um, we don't all have this one, I think. Um, run or query, or query. Wow. <laughs> what happened? Did Manchester United lose? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. This, this single sign-on problem is a real problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't set up the DI rule for it. So we have uh, no curl express expression. This ex this exception is wrong. Go back one. Yeah. Because we're in a coordination service, so Paul should have written O query coordination validation exception. And also in this one, it should be null O query expression coordination exception. <laughs> so just type code well we need to create an, a couple of new files because they're not there right in the models so so is there like a is there like a model for so coordination coordi yeah yeah see he has it he just didn't Hang hang on, Sam. Do we mm -hmm. do we have one under coordinations? Uh, here's one under core. You want to move that to the coordinations folder, right? And uh, you know, ideally, oh man. So yeah. yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is this is all wrong. Um, go under models. Collapse all the folders under models. No, no, no. Just keep models expanded. Just collapse the folders underneath it. The folders underneath models. Yeah, I know. Just 
collapse them. Yeah. And then I create a new to... create a new folder, call it coordinations. You don't have a coordinations? No. This is under services. Yep. Yeah. Mm, this is under models, right? Uh huh. Perfect. And under coordinations, create a new folder, call it O queries. With the I, with the I. I E S. Perfect. And then underneath that, create a new folder, call it exceptions. And then underneath that, create a file and then call it null o query expression coordination exceptions. Just pay attention to the uh, namespaces because it has to follow the right namespace. Yeah, coordinations. Yeah, perfect. No, the coordination. Yeah, Visual Studio just started doing that recently. And then we need to change the name. That's right. I've been dragging stuff around left, right, and center and just getting it to sort all my name spaces doesn't out. Do it, it doesn't do it with multiple files, just one at a time. He got it lucky. Yeah. It does. So, okay. Yeah, so that, you can drag whole folders now and it works. Right. And 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 then, Sam, create another file. Call it O query <clears throat> coordination validation exception. Great. Coordination. Do we have that? Oh, clearly, coordination. No, I don't think so. Coordination. Because we just run the test, right? So, so make sure your constructor is also proper, and then inside the message say, "Oh, query, validation error occurred. Fix the errors and try again." So it's derived from X. No, 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 no. Yeah, and yeah, that's right. In the in the message in line thirteen, type mm -hmm. in "O query validation error occurred." Occurred. Fix the errors and try again. Occurred. And we also want to. Uh, we also want to be able to pass in an inner exception of type a exception with the e with the x. What? Perfect. Now take a comma after the end of the mess of the message and then pass in the inner exception there. Maybe in the next line, say it's over 120. Yeah, perfect. Yep. Let's go back to Paul's broken test. So it should be coordinated over yep. there. Yeah, and you need to change the variable names as well. Just make sure the variable names are correct. Expect the query validation exception. Expect expected o query coordination. Uh, same thing with the null o query expression. It should be coordination exception. And then also, yeah, we're basically rewriting Paul's test. It's, it's starting to get on my nerves. Oh, clearly, it's all oh, clearly. Oh, this is wrong. You need the new type in there. This one? Yeah. Actually, oh, clearly, coordination, validation service. Did I just not use all the right keywords? You, you just, you just, I don't know what to say to you. I'm sure I did it with your guidance last time. You were telling me what to write. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> not true. Well, well, let's pull up the video, shall we? <laughs> the video. And find the evidence. <laughs> um, so now it seems... Uh... So now, Sam, you need to catch the null O query expression coordination exception yes. and throw an O query... Uh, what we do in the validation, it's a uh, validation of query. Just so need to the... check it's null for a string, though. This is a no expression. In your case, you will check a string is null, right? Yeah, I know. 
So it's a string. Um, let's see. So it's a input is a Odell query. If it's now, we will through um, now, now or query. Now or query and exception. Just do control K E, dude. You know, why are you making things complicated for yourself? <laughs> okay. Control, control I can't K. remember all of the shortcuts. <laughs> Validation uh or query, right? Yeah. Expression. Valid or query expression. Yeah. So now we will call this one here. That's correct. But we will put it in the um, try catch. I will yes. do it. So exactly. try catch here is try catch. Um, Take away that second catch. You don't need it. Yeah. If it's a no or query expression, no or query expression, coordinate expression. expression. So it's uh, openly coordination Nice. Look how fast Sam is. Um what's ah, ah, do control KE. Control K E. Yeah, look, your life is much easier. Mm. <laughs> uh but the syntax may be long. Why? What are you returning in that other method? Yeah, I, I don't know what to be able to do. It's a very expression, so you just need to change it to expression. Uh, try catch. Put, put it at the same line, Sam, above. Yeah. And then you just need to kind of pass in async. Async. Open, close, parentheses. Yep, yep. And then all the way down, close this um, parentheses and then double semi, and then take away the async from your method name. This one? Yeah, take away async from here. Oh, that's it. But is and, the then, and then why is this guy mad? Because uh, let's see here try catch process expression. Uh, value task and you did do an await and then you have the return type what's the error it's saying cannot implicitly convert link expressions to o expression go back to your try catch return task dot from result no no, no 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 he 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 still has o expression instead of expression in there so change take the o out oh, from expression okay. Same thing for the one above it. Pull the reference, control period. I think I think this try catch input parameter is short enough. Can you take it to the upper line? Control minus. Everything is okay. I know. Uh, you have an empty line between one liners. Yeah, take that to the to the upper line. Perfect, Sam. And then go back to the actual code and then take away that empty line, line 32, because these are one liners. Just this line one? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Now run the test and let's see what like happened. 41. You could probably ditch 41 as well. I know what happened. Go inside the test. So O query coordination, actual O query coordination, get O query action, process O query. We have the null. You went down and you said, hey, Mark, verify that we haven't called anyone. Never. Uh, and it says no exception was thrown. Run the test again. I think it. I think you just ran it before it did. Uh... Actually, go inside that validation method, Sam. Let's see what you did in the validation method. Uh, is null? If it's null, throw null o query expression coordination exception validate o query expression. Go inside the method. So you called it right. You should. Yeah, call it. Call it because it's the one reference, right? Yeah, that's right. Call it here. So you call that guy and it should throw the exception, but it's saying you never 
You never, you never done anything. And I know why. Again, the person who wrote the you test. You know, know why? I know why. I know why. Close all that. I'll tell you why. Where? The gentleman that wrote the test is asleep. Be... Okay. Come on. Come Always. On. Let's go back to the test. <laughs> See, we, we, we basically rewrote Where the whole the, test. Where is the cost? So, so, so change, change action, the value task. Change this to value task, the type of it. Change the value task of expression. Yep. He's a genius. Uh huh. And then put expression in there. Bro, generic type, expression. What's expression? Value task of expression, line 90 at the beginning of the line. Expression. Right. And then get O query task instead of action because it's not really. So the name of the variable on line 90, it's get O query. It's actually process, process O query. So he get copied process. That's what he did. Process. Yeah, no, task, task, task. So process. you should call. Yeah, call, call the whole variable process o query task. Say it again. Yeah, the variable in line 90, call it process o query task. Thank you. And then take away that open close parenthesis with the fat arrow. Oh my God. Let's go. So we have undo. Yeah, we're basically we basically rewrote the whole test, and then um, <laughs> take that to the next line, and then take go to throws, call it throws async, throws async. There you go, and then in the action, just type in dot as task, dot as task. Now run the test. Uh, uh, we need to uh, put an await. No, 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 no. Take that out. Take that out. Put an await on line 95. At the beginning of it. At the beginning of the line. Yeah, take away that await. Oh, yeah, that should be happy. Take it to the no next happy. line. Hold, wait, wait. And then change your test method itself to be async task. Look, we rewrote everything. Now run the test. See, that's why that, that Paul, I don't know what to do with him. It's over. Is it green? If it doesn't go green, then what's this all about? Good job, Paul. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> you took a thing that was broken and broke it even more. Oh, yeah? Is that what you think? Let's see. Yeah, that, looks, that looks pretty broken to me. Wait, wait, Sam, we're not done. Should throw yeah. validation exception uh, on on there. should throw validation exception on process on process. If expression is null, async. Because you know it's asynchronous. There you go. That's it. Commit that as pass and give it back to me. Uh, run it to make sure it can run. Yeah, let's try it. Ah, uh, Paul, 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 Paul. When you trust Paul. <laughs> Definitely. I trust. It's all about trust, right? <laughs> yep. Thin arrow, thin arrow. Thin, thin arrow. Huh? Thin arrow. Right. Uh, That's a fat arrow. arrow. We need the thin arrow. Space, pass. Commit all and push. Pass, right? Yep, pass, yep. You made it pass. It's green. Mm. Commit all and push. Yeah, I, I did. Okay, Sam. My turn. See, I I won't make you write a test because technically you rewrote <laughs> Paul's test, so I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> hey, Paul, you're next. Get ready. I'm going to throw a couple of tests at you. What do you think about that, friend? Hmm. Paul, Paul is not with us today. Hey, Paul, are you with us today? Sorry, sorry you did something. You, you, sorry you did something. We don't know what it is, but you did something. 
<laughs> Sam, you did push your stuff, right? I did. Oh. You said success, success, successfully pushed to get pull to get GitHub. Get log one. Yeah, last person was Sam. Why do I not see your test, Sam, under coordinations? Let's see here. Oh, let's see. Uh, no, I didn't change the structure of. Uh, oh, you didn't create a new file? No, I didn't. Oh, no, no, no. It's not you. Numbers. No, no, no. Wait, wait. It's not you. It's Paul. Paul again. <laughs> what have I done now? Paul, why did you do this? What did I do this time? You wrote the exceptions. And also, why is this guy failing? Let's see here. The method or operation is not implemented. Is that a previous run? Oh, yeah, that's definitely a previous run. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, everything is passing now for some reason. I don't know who fixed what. Maybe Sam. I don't know. But this file here needs to end up in, a, in its own... Uh, kind of file which is the validations dot process right so Paul you put them all together why did you do it well admit it oh fine I admit it <laughs> admit to your because sins because we try our best to catch up with you Hassan I keep telling oh, you I'm right. the worst programmer I say oh yeah is that right okay yeah, you just you never listen to me uh huh uh huh you just keep going, hey, you'll get it one day. What is it saying? <laughs> Look, this is the beautiful thing about this one. See, it's telling me I misspelled something. So, coordinations, coordinations. Oh, it just doesn't believe in, like, there's no plural for coordination, I guess, in English. <laughs> so, now yeah. oh, that complaint is not real. Okay, so we have the process, we have validations. I'll just do a code drop commit here. Code drop split validation and logic tests in their own files. Okay, now it's my turn to write a test. And the next test here is for exceptions. We need to know all the exceptions that get thrown from our dependencies, and we need to handle them, right? So we're going to start with dependency validation exceptions right you know as is today is the last uh, um session for the validation and exception right yeah so and maybe then, next time we will or maybe today we will do um view the action and uh, to practice the release process Yes. Or maybe we can kick kick off the uh, CI and the CD. CI yes. and the CI. And uh, do something a hand. Mm -hmm. And I mean, next time, so we can work together to publish uh, a new Git package. Draft, a draft or better version to new Git. Of course. I love it. Public static uh, theory uh, data, right? And we want to have all validate dependency validation exception. All pay attention because you know that you're gonna need this var inner exception, new exception, <laughs> and. We want to throw, return, new theory data of exceptions. So this is us kind of converting all the exceptions that will come out of the, um, and this theory data type is basically what you would want to use to, to do your uh, exceptions. So what are the dependencies that we rely on? I can see them from here. Tokenization orchestration service I query orchestration service, right? So I can go here and say tokenization, new tokenization, um, uh, orchestration, validation, exception. Is that a real thing? Should be. 
is your inner exception. What else? New, auto-organization, orchestration, dependency validation exception. Inner exception. Great. Love it. What else? We are dependent on an OQuery orchestration service. So OQuery orchestration validation exception. Right, and that guy takes in an inner exception. And then you have OQuery orchestration dependency validation exception, which takes inner exception. So this guy will pretend that any of these four exceptions have occurred. Okay, so I'm going to go up here to the exceptions area. I'm going to say name of dependency validation exceptions. Great. So that means I can have here an exception, which is dependency validation exception great what's the next step for us we want to unwrap that exception so localize categorize we want to unwrap that and take the inner exception and propagate upstream so given when then and then here is var right expected o query coordination right dependency validation exception we don't have that exception yet but we will New O query coordination dependency validation exception. Watch what this guy does. It takes in that dependency exception and takes in the inner exception as exception because it's unwrapping. Let's pretend it happened. So here is my mock. What's the first thing that we call? Well, we need a dummy, a dummy uh, query first. So here is some O query expression. I love how the AI is really just playing along. And uh, let's just all right, let's just create a random one. So let's go here. Do I have a method? Yeah, get random O data query. Great. Get random O data query. And here is the mock. What's the first mock that we really call in this method? If you go on to the O query coordination service, the first mock that we call is the O tokenize. This guy here, which is great. So that basically means, let me kind of simplify this a little bit. Like that. So we call auto-tokenize query. So I want to throw all the exceptions from here. So this is auto-tokenization setup. Here's your service. service tokenize query. It is is any do you guys know i'm saying why i'm saying it is any in here any ideas any thoughts because we don't care because we don't we're gonna, care right we're going to force we're it to just, throw an exception just want it to throw an exception we really don't care right that's that's the epitome of like understanding that you, your test is really targeting one particular responsibility and that's all it cares about right Okay, and then I'm going to steal the rest of this because why not? Also, by the way, this is wrong. We need to say uh, this is O query, verify no other calls as well. And in that order, this should go up. And that's that, right? Again, that's Paul's test. <laughs> Paul, what are we going to do with you? Service, service dot tokenize. It is any string times never and because this guy chronologically gets called first but paul you called it a broker even though it's a service wake up son <laughs> see i'm re we literally re <laughs> dude i've gotten so fed up i was copy paste so i've just gone <laughs> lazy with it now it's crazy okay paul okay Okay, so what are we going to do here? Pretty much it's writing the code for me, so I don't have to do anything. Um, and then uh, let's see here. The next thing is that, yeah, thank you so much. And then the next one, there you go. <laughs> okay, so it kind of wrote the whole thing here. And then probably we'll write it in here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so, so you, smart. It's so don't smart. Don't do anything, right? I'm not doing anything. I'm just doing enter, and it's finding mm -hmm. the answers oh. for me. Look, look, look. 
Look, this is perfect. This is exactly it missed one though, which is the mock. Well, you have to know what you're doing, right? Or if I know other calls, VNO. Yeah, this is amazing, dude. Like I literally that's the beauty when you have a standard, right? When you have a standard, it becomes easy to do these things, right? Can I ask okay. uh, um chat GPT a question like can you build uh audit the new project for us using C sharp? Oh, I'm I'm working on something. I'm gonna show oh, really? you. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on something. You guys are gonna love that. Of course, you have to adapt. You have to work with the new technologies that you have. So yeah. <laughs> I would like to automate out some of the the basics, the structural stuff. But I know you're kind of you're against no the, the whole no toasters thing. Yeah, but it's just it, like it is. It is possible though, Paul, that we can do something interesting like, look, we don't want it to do our work, but we want it to help us do our work. You understand? So what would that yeah. look like? We'll see. Like, I didn't really make a big fuss about Christo's approach for standardly because I know that we eventually going to need to come to that point, but I'm just trying to be cautious because the problem is usually what happens is a bunch of really senior engineers, they automate everything because they understood how it works. And then whoever comes after them, they don't know anything. They don't know how anything works, right? And be like, how does this work? Oh, you don't understand. Um, you know? Mm -hmm. So we're going to need to find a way around that. It's a, it's more of a, um, I don't know, O query, uh, dependency, validation, error occurred. Two Cs. Third, uh, uh, fix mm -hmm. errors and try again. Yeah, I know. Uh, Missed an R on errors. Oh, oh yeah. So it's telling me right now. Look at this. I love it. Spelling errors. Errors. It works yeah. too. I think for me, because the standard is very, it's not very dry friendly, right? So there's a lot of repetition in there. And I know you said that's a good thing, but good thing. If if you're a senior, you don't want to be repeating yourself day in day out. You just want something to just deal with the boilerplate and then you focus on the problem. Yeah. Um, so I, I get your view on the whole, well, if you're new, you need to learn it. And the way that you learn it is repetition. But then if you're not new, if you're a senior, you just want stuff like this dealt with. So I think there needs to be like a weird, like there's some middle ground there somewhere, right? I don't know where it is. <laughs> but I see both sides of it, though. I see not wanting to automate too much because like you say people then don't learn it do they people don't learn it and even the senior person that you're talking about they get rusty because their hands is not working right programming mm -hmm. software engineering is not just a mind job you only you also want to be good on and at, at, at reflecting think of it as going to the gym you're training yourself to express thoughts and ideas and code and i've seen man i've seen some senior engineers that haven't written code in like three years because they're spending the time guiding the juniors while the juniors are doing all the work. That's absolute garbage. That, that that's not how the world is working. And you know, you, you're not surprised. Like you, you know, I do you know how many junior engineer come to me and say, "That senior guy, he doesn't know anything." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "What happened?" You know, and and they tell me, they tell me they, they don't even know how to write a unit test. They just don't because they haven't written code in a long time. That's all right, crazy. Paul, you're up. Uh, pull the repo then. Oh my god, dude, are you serious? Come on, man. I've Chris. got. Do I just do it? I'll just do it. Just, just do it. Just do it here. Uh, uh you want to do it or no? If you want me to do it, I'll do it. That's fine. We'll do it then. Let's go. Let me just pull the repo. Hang on. It's very easy. It'll take you a second, just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it shouldn't take you long. It's easy, just like to take some water. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I do have it. See. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Uh, right. I need to. What branch are we in? We are in the O query coordinate dash O query dash process 
Cool. They just look for coordinate, basically. Oh, you want me to share? I suppose, don't you? God damn it! That that would be a that would be a great idea. Yeah, yeah. So throwing ideas see, out there. You can see me write code badly that way. Come on, don't, dude. We have we have like hard, few minutes. Have look. Uh, <laughs> this one, I think. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which instance of Visual Studio it is. Right? Is that fitting? Come on, zoom in a little bit. I can't see anything. Is that better? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Okay. Uh, this is the last file I've got open. So let's close all this stuff down. Uh, lots of failing tests. Oh, then. Yeah. For some reason, it's passing on my machine now, so I don't care if it breaks on yours. Isn't that how it works? <laughs> uh, find the coordination one. Yep. There you go. You're at it. The top one. Yeah, that test right there. Yeah. Uh, I not got the latest. Yes, sir. So the great thing about this is that a lot of people have been asking me, like, how do you build a coordination service? Well, here it is. You know, that's what a lot of people have been asking about. So. Did you check it all in? Yeah, it's all in. Go to the, the main then, file. Yeah, you are in the right place. And then move to the next file. Go to the next file. Yeah, that error, I think that's a red herring. He's He got a failing test. That means it's actually running properly. Hmm. So don't okay. worry about the red, the red thing. Oh, I want to find the property, right? You, you mean dependency. the property? You mean the method, the dependency validation exceptions? Yeah. So you go yeah, to the right, Yeah, right click on it. Right click on dependency validation exceptions and just go to definition. Okay, fine. Go to the root file. You'll find it there. Yeah, the main file. There it is. On there. There it is. Hmm. The, these are the exceptions that you're expecting me to handle, right? Yeah, you catch all of these, and then you you take the inside, the inner exception, and you throw it as a dependency validation exception. Go to the, yes. Not here. Not here. The next one. The coordination service, right? No, no, no. No, under the, the, under the last catch. You oh, love okay. right chaos, don't you? You love it. Yeah, yeah. It's in your yeah, yeah. blood. It's just. Uh... <laughs> oh, come on. What are you doing? Oh, come on, man. No, no. <laughs> okay, Paul. Okay. Do, do, can. No, no. Don't do that, man. Come on. No, no. Just go back. Go back. I'll show you a nicer trick for this. Delete all of this. Just delete okay. all of that. Okay, go back to the file. Well, uh, the, the one with the exceptions in it. The top one, yeah. The one with the exceptions in it. This one? Okay, hit the Alt button on your keyboard and drag from O token, O tokenization exceptions. Nope, not from here. From the second. After new. Left. After new. From here. Yeah, yeah, hit the Alt button and drag down. Yep, stop right there. Nope, nope. Just stop at the beginning. Stop at the beginning. And then do control shift right. Control shift. Right. Good. Control C. <laughs> Go back. That's why you're complaining from copy paste because you're not good. You like you're not. Okay, now drag, drag again. Do the alt drag again. Type I'll catch. type this catch. Oh my god! <laughs> Open parentheses, and then do Control Shift, right, Control C, click the right button, take a space. Nope. Go back. Don't try to beat me. You don't know how to do this, so you have to wait. Paste. <laughs> 
control V, and then do control shift left. What are you doing? Leave the freaking mouse. You're not going to touch the mouse. You've been doing this for 20 years. You don't need this. Okay, now click left again. I'm going to teach you something. And do shift right. And then do control U. Control U. And then go one left. And then do control shift How right. How do you know these shortcuts, man? Just let's keep going. Control shift right. And then this control C. <laughs> and then do uh, right right. Oh my god. You screwed. No, no, you didn't actually. Do right right. Dude, where's your right? You are you seriously going left? <laughs> go go left left. <coughs> and then do control shift right. God. Yeah, and then do right right. Good. And then take an and then enter. <coughs> Open a squiggly. Go back one. New line. You know what to do next, right? Go up, right, throw, new, throw, new, uh, oh, query, oh, query, oh, query, coordination, dependency, validation, exception. Validation, exception. Open parentheses and then do control V. There you go. And then new line. No, not new line. Take a right and then do a semicolon. There you go. Look at you. Now run the test. How do you actually, know those shortcuts? Actually, actually, this is all wrong. You need an inner exception inside each and every one of these. <laughs> How are you going to do it the way I showed you? you? You still have your cursors there. You can still do it. Go back. That, that is go the back inner to, exception. Go, go back to the end of the line. You, you still have your cursors. Just type okay. in dot inner exception in each and every one of them. Dot inner exception. And then as. Space as exception with the X. Yep. Take a new line for each and every one of these because you're over 120 characters. If you can. I'm not going to show you how. <laughs> where, do you want, where, where do you want the new lines? From from the beginning of every input, every time you pass in an exception inside the validation exception. So at the opening of this, yep, there you go. Keep keep going. Keep going to the beginning and then take a new line. There you go. That's it. Look at you, smart and all. Oh, I can't remember all. So Paul. Did, he, did, he, did he write inner exception wrong? What happened here? Oh, just pull, just pull the exception reference. You're done. You're done with the multiple people thing. You just need to using add the using. Yeah, add the using. Insanity. <laughs> Welcome to the real engineering, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thing. Right. How do, Learn how, how, do it, how do we spell <laughs> exception then? Oh, okay. just with, there is no C. Oh, okay. Do I need a, a using in there? Yeah, control period helps. Look at you. Run the test. Now imagine if you have all these steps in your mind because there's a muscle that you're training. Yeah. That's exactly my point, you know. I do need to spend more time learning the shortcuts, man. I'm just so lazy. You 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 won't be able to learn them unless you do things that you know how to do a hundred percent, and then you're getting better at doing it. Anyway, commit this oh. as a pass and give me oh. a failing. Uh, oh, a recommendation from my from me. Yeah. Give 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 it give it up. You give can't remember up, all yeah. of the things. Give it time. That's right. <laughs> no, Sam is right. Sam is right. <laughs> I thought you said give it up. <laughs> <laughs>
give it up, man. It's give not it worth up. it. But uh, keep right. this uh, session video on this pushed at hand and uh, review it anytime if you want to. Yeah. Watch uh, yourself again. publicly being yeah. <laughs> publicly being berated for not knowing shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you write me a failing test that's just like the one that I wrote, except that instead of validation exceptions, it's dependency and service exceptions. Dependency exact same. Service. The exact same test like this one. The only difference is that instead of me passing dependency validation exceptions, you're going to be passing in dependency and service exceptions. So go inside that method. Make a new one. Can I just add to this one? No. Make a new one. Oh, okay. Mm. Thank you so much for trying to save time. And now and now the name is that instead of throwing dependency validation, we're just throwing dependency exception. And you know what to do with the rest, right? I'm hoping. Can can we uh, assign this to Paul as a homework. Yeah, Paul, <laughs> do this as a homework, and then we will connect tomorrow. Sam, do you want to do tomorrow or Wednesday? Tomorrow is okay. Yeah, let's connect tomorrow. One one p.m. is okay tomorrow. Um, one p.m. one thirty. I have a one one with my with my manager, so, so it's only half an hour for me. Do That's you want to do twelve twelve thirty tomorrow? Twelve thirty is okay. Yeah, Paul, 12.30 tomorrow, okay? Okay. Give me a failing test by tomorrow, son. Don't make this hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>